Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 221 Astonishing Decision Is not even going to give me a choice? Sure Fong laughed bitterly as he looked at the system notification. Sure Fong did not even have the right to reject an epic quest. Sure Fong was truly confused as to how Fantasy Extinguisher had actually managed to complete this epic quest. In theory, he shouldn't be able to complete the quest even if he sacrificed the entire Fantasy Shrine. When converted to credits, 30,000 gold coins was the equivalent of 300 million credits. One could even buy a large company with that kind of money. Moreover, compared to the difficulty of earning 300 million credits, in reality, it was much harder to earn 30,000 gold in God's domain. Naturally, it was impossible for Sure Fong to earn 300 million credits in reality right now. To speak frankly, if he were capable of such a thing, he would have long since done so. Why bother playing God's domain at all? However, it would still be better for him to develop himself in God's domain, as God's domain had more prospects. Earning credits in God's domain would be much faster than earning credits in reality. Your Excellency Yifong, from now on, the entire Star Street trading firm will be under your command. We will carry out any orders you give. Also, I would like to introduce you to someone. If Your Excellency needs anything, simply let her know, Henry said, clapping his hands once. At this moment, the large doors of the office suddenly opened, and a beautiful girl with golden blonde hair stepped into the office. The girl with blue eyes wore a beautiful purple dress. The edges of her dress brushed against the red carpeted floor. The girl had a fair and pretty face, and her long wavy hair, which reached her buttocks, fluttered in the wind as she moved. Her bangs covered her sea blue left eye, while her uncovered right eye looked just like a shiny, blue gemstone. As she walked closer to Sherfong and President Henry, her thin red lips formed a tranquil, yet attractive smile. Anna, from today onwards, His Excellency Yifong will be the acting president of Star Streak Trading Firm, while you will be His Excellency's assistant. You must properly assist His Excellency, understood? Henry asked. Yes, President. I will not disappoint His Excellency Yifong. Following which, Henry sent a beaming smile at Sher Fong as he said, Your Excellency Yifong, from today onwards, the Star Streak trading firm's fate will be in your hands. Anna is very familiar with the Star Streak trading firm, and she is also very intelligent and capable. If you have any commands, please don't hesitate to let her carry them out. System Player has activated the NPC administration system. Please call out the NPC administration interface to manage your subordinated NPCs. Seeing Henry's smile, in addition to Anna's attractive appearance, Sure Fong was slightly stunned. He could almost feel cold sweat dripping down his forehead. Henry obviously worried that Sure Fong would not give it his all in helping them. Thus, Henry had given Sure Fong this benefit. Fine. Leave the matter of Star Streak trading firm to me, then. Sure Fong laughed bitterly. He never imagined that he could obtain a beautiful assistant in God's domain. Not even a guild leader would enjoy such treatment. Also, Sure Fong felt relieved at the fact that he was not required to give 30,000 gold to Star Streak Trading Firm. Instead, he only needed to help the trading firm make 30,000 gold. Without a doubt, the difficulty of the quest had greatly reduced. Immediately, Sure Fong called out the system interface, investigating the NPC administration interface. Anna, Yi Feng's assistant, gender female, age 20, loyalty 50. Charm, 86. Physique, 60. Wisdom, 91. Level, 50. HP, 10,000. Her wisdom is so high. Sure Fong was shocked when he saw the information displayed. In God's domain, wisdom determined an NPC's potential. Normally, NPCs would not have wisdom exceeding 50 points. If an NPC's wisdom reached 60 points, they would possess extraordinary statuses in God's domain. Meanwhile, those with 70 points in wisdom were usually tier 2 mages. As for NPCs who had 90 points in wisdom, they were usually characters such as Sharlan, a tier 3 divine official. However, Anna was far more amazing than Sharlan. 
Charlene had a Tier 3 class, so her attributes would have been increased, resulting in her wisdom reaching 90 points. However, Anna did not possess any class right now. If Anna obtained a Tier 3 class, her wisdom would exceed 100 points. Although it was only a difference of 10 points, wisdom increased slower as it reached higher numbers. Similarly, the difference between a single point in wisdom would also become greater. An NPC with 100 points in wisdom was the equivalent to Magistrate Weissman of White River City, an Apex Tier 4 wizard. With such a powerful subordinate, Sher Feng's mood improved greatly. Although 30,000 gold was a huge sum of money, if Sher Feng earned it through the Starstreak trading firm, he would still have a thread of hope of succeeding. Since he was already capable of earning 100 gold per day by himself, if he utilized Starstreak trading firm's influence, he had a very high possibility of earning the 30,000 gold coins. After all, Starstreak trading firm had shops based in eight cities, and every one of them was in the heart of the trade areas of each respective city. Meanwhile, the total population of these eight cities exceeded 5 million players. With such a large player base, it would be very easy for Sherfong to make money. Thinking up to this point, a flash of inspiration struck Sherfong. All this time, he thought of opening a shop in White River City. Only, he did not possess the sufficient reputation or money to do so. After all, not to mention purchasing a shop located within the trade area, even the cheapest shop in White River City required players to have 500 White River City reputation points in addition to 1,000 to 5,000 gold coins. Although the price looked high, in reality, it was not as expensive as one would imagine. After all, the hardest part of purchasing a shop was the required 500 reputation points. By the time players obtained 500 White River City reputation points, a lot of time would have passed, and they would have long since collected the necessary coins to purchase a shop. Moreover, the coins at that time would not be as valuable as right now. At that time, one gold coin would at most be worth around 200 credits, unlike the current situation where one silver coin could sell for more than 100 credits. By becoming the acting president of the Starstreak Trading Company, Sherfong had essentially obtained the most valuable shops in eight different cities. What did this situation hint at? Nobody had a better understanding of this situation than Sherfong. Shortly after, under Anna's lead, Sherfong left the president's office to tour the Starstreak Trading Firm. In truth, however, even without exploring the place, Sherfong already had a thorough understanding of the Starstreak trading firm. NPCs were different from players in that they could only sell common goods. Even the equipment they sold was common rank and very rarely would there be a bronze ranked item for sale. However, it would be a different story altogether if the store were run by a player. On top of everything else, Sherfong was also the officially acknowledged chief forger of Star Moon Kingdom. Just as Anna guided Sher Fong around the Star Street trading firm, a few players who came to purchase some necessities such as food, water, scrolls, and potions were immediately dumbstruck when they noticed the duo. That NPC is beautiful. Just who is that player? Isn't he too good at getting the ladies? He has even managed to land an NPC sister. This won't do. I need to convince him to teach me. The scene of Sher Fong and Anna walking together immediately attracted the attention of plenty of players. In reality, such attention wasn't just due to Anna's beauty. It was also due to the fact that Sher Fong had managed to get together with a female NPC. Such a feat was far more stunning than just getting together with a beautiful female player. Countless male players glowered at Sher Fong in envy. Meanwhile, this information spread throughout the forums like a storm especially the footage of Sherfong and Anna strolling through the sales area. This footage became a sensation among players, and it allowed them to gain a new perspective on God's domain. Fortunately, Sherfong had not used his true appearance at that time. Instead, he wore the identity of Black Flame. This should be enough. Sherfong looked at the surrounding onlookers as he revealed a faint smile. The reason he had asked Anna to come out for a stroll was precisely to attract attention. He then spoke to Anna, I've decided to change the Star Street trading firm's business model. I wonder if that would be all right? Anna's eyes suddenly widened in surprise. She looked at Sher Fong with a confused expression as she thought, he has just taken the position as the acting president. 
yet he is already taking such a bold and decisive action? Is this person really a business prodigy? However, Sher Fong was her boss. Moreover, President Henry had already instructed her to listen to Sher Fong. Hence, she nodded her head, saying, If Your Excellency wishes to change the business models, I wonder what Your Excellency needs me to do. Very simple. I wish to hire adventurers to craft items for me, then sell the items they have crafted. So, I need you to get someone to refurbish the eight shops we own. The first and second floors of the building will be used to sell our wares, while the fourth to sixth floors will be rebuilt as a workspace. Also, get the news out that we are hiring lifestyle players. Whether they are just normal people or adventurers, as long as they reach our standards, we will offer them 30% more than what others are offering. Listening up to this point, Anna grew shocked. This wasn't just a change in the business models. This was practically a change of occupation.